What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay, it's a 2v2 scrim on Raid Hardpoint, and it's actually against my former teammate Humps, um, he plays top 32 at UMG Atlanta, so very good player, this wasn't a very serious scrim though, so don't be giving him hate or anything because he lost, spoiler, sorry, my bad, but yeah, so before I get into the main topic though, I really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. The comments and feedback I got on the last video were absolutely outstanding, got tons of support, got tons of likes and everything, that was probably my best received video yet, so thank you guys so much for that. So into the main topic for today, I'm going to be talking about the Call of Duty Ghost killstreaks. And I'm going to start by talking about how the layout works, so there's going to be three categories of killstreaks, again like Modern Warfare 3, the same kind of layout. There's going to be Assault, Support, and Specialist, only this time they're supposed to take some more of the lethal stuff out of Support, but I'll get into that in just a little bit. So I'm going to start with the Assault Strike Package. So the first one listed for three kills is the SATCOM, and this is basically the UAV, but it's a stationary ground-based version, and it can be stacked. So the more that are on there, the high level things you can get. So the first one, it just shows enemies on the radar that your enemies see or encounter. The second, if you have two on the field, then they act as a normal UAV by sweeping the map every few seconds. Three, you get to increase the frequency of the radar sweeps. Four, and then it'll work like an advanced UAV. So that'll be interesting. And it should be noted that the wiretap perk allows you to stack enemy SATCOMs as your own as well. Then the next one in this um, list is the IMS. This is returning from MW3. It's the Intelligent Munitions Systems. It shoots anti-personnel grenades in the air when an enemy gets near it. Next one is Guard Dog. This is for five kills. And this one is where, you know, you see Riley and it follows you around and attacks enemies. It also growls when enemy players are near. So it kind of acts as a... UAV. Next one is Sentry Gun. We're all familiar with this. It's for seven kills, which is a little bit different. And once it's deployed, the Sentry Gun scans for enemies and attacks them on site. Next one is the Trinity Rocket, and this one is for seven kills as well. This one is unknown at the time, so we'll have to see from the picture. Maybe it's a Reaper type thing. I don't know. That seems kind of low for seven kills, but we'll have to see. Next one is the Griffin. This is for eight kills. And this looks like the quad rotor from Black Ops 2, however, it has like a little red circle and it looks like you can shoot grenades out. I don't know how strong it is though, so we'll have to see. I mean, from the gameplays that we've seen it in, it kills in one shot, but I don't know how many bullets it takes to shoot that thing out of the sky, so we'll have to experiment with that. Next one is the Vulture, and this is for 9 kills, and this is deploying a low-flying drone that attacks enemies. This one looks very similar to the quad rotor as well, however, it only has two of the little circular fan things to keep it up and it looks like it has a minigun instead of a rocket launcher thing for as the um the griffin does next one is the battle hind this is for nine kills and you get to call in a battle hind that circles the map and automatically engages enemies uh if you played black ops one you're familiar with this one Next one is the Juggernaut Maniac. This is for nine kills, and this is a package is drop airdropped. My bad into the map that holds the kill streak. Once picked up, the player gets the Juggernaut armor and a throwing knife. Nothing more. Unlike the normal Juggernaut kill streak, this version allows you to move extremely fast, but your health doesn't regenerate. That's going to be interesting. I want to see how fast your health goes down from that. Then the regular Juggernaut is at ten kills, and this is just like the one from MW3 and you it's airdropped in a care package kind of thing and then you pick it up and you're a juggernaut with a minigun so a little bit OP but maybe if they balance it properly it'll work out alright next thing is the helo pilot this is at 12 kills and it allows the player to control an attack helicopter for a short period of time next one is an unknown name but it's for 15 kills and it's going to allow the player to control an aerial vehicle that can Support the team by launching the following armaments. Care package, juggernaut, small rod, large rod. Now, I don't know what the small rod or large rod is yet. We'll have to see. That's going to be interesting. So that's all the ones for the assault package. Next one is going to be the support package. So we got the SATCOM at four kills, which I've already gone over. However, it should be noted that this one in support is for four kills instead of three. Next one is ballistic vest, just like MW3 and it's at six kills. Next one is Box of Guns, and it's not confirmed as to how it works, 
but it implies that it's gonna be like a care package type thing and you randomly get a gun out of it. Next one is the Night Owl at 9 kills. This is where a drone follows you around and it acts as a motion sensor that detects nearby enemies and also deflects missiles that are fired in your direction. Even if you die, the Night Owl continues to help teammates, so that'll be interesting. The MAAWS is at 10 kills and this is that rocket launcher we saw in one of the trailers where it fires a rocket that splits into two and you can free guide them with the launchers lasers next one is the ground jammer at 12 kills and this disables enemy satcoms and kill streaks next one is air superiority this is also for 12 kills it calls in a fighter jet that engages enemy aircraft next one is the support squad mate at 13 kills and the description of it is get behind the guy with a riot shield Nothing else is really known, but I'm assuming that there's going to be a guy that comes in with a, with a riot shield that you can hide behind and he's going to move forward and stuff and you can be shooting around him and everything or something of that sort. We'll have to see. Next one is the heli sniper at 13 kills. And this is where you call in a helicopter with a sniper on board. The sniper is controllable and the helicopter can be ordered to move around the map. The sniper can be taken out, which ends the kill streak. I'm not so happy about this being in here unless it's really weak because that's a lethal kill streak in the support, which is kind of ridiculous. I hope it's not that good of an item because I mean, support you, your your kills stack continuously even if you die if you didn't know that. So it just seems a little bit unfair to give lethal kill streaks in it. I know that was something that was really annoying. In MW3, you know, you could get lethal kill streaks in the support or things that were just really good, like an EMP, and it's like, I don't understand why you would have that in a support thing where your kills stack upon death. I don't know, I feel like you should have to earn them in one life, but that's just me. Next one is the Oracle at 14 kills. We're not exactly sure how this one works. Um, it was originally thought to be a cloaking device, but that has been debunked by Mark Rubin via Twitter. Nobody's really sure on it. We'll have to see what happens with it. Uh, next one is the Juggernaut Recon at 14 kills. This is going to be where you drop in a Juggernaut armor that has a personal radar. Uh, doesn't say anything about what kind of weapons he has. He may not have any or he might just have a pistol. I, I feel like he's probably going to have a pistol. Next one is an unknown name but it's at 16 kills and it's the same one from the assault kill streak where it, you call in an aerial vehicle that can support the team by launching you know care package I'll juggernaut small rod or large rod so we still don't know exactly what that is so that's all the assault and support kill streaks the last little set here is the specialist strike package and this is gonna work like in modern warfare 3 by allowing you to stack perks as your streak increases so that's all the killstreaks for you guys. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.